Well, hello there, and welcome to Totally Doctor Who. Hello. Why are you talking in that weird voice? Well, that's how one would talk in 1913, isn't it? Oh, I get it, of course, because in the last episode of Doctor Who, it was 1913, yes. the Doctor had to become human yes. to hide from the family, and then he and all the schoolboys made a last stand against them. Ah, yes, boys and men fighting for their king and country. It's... Oh, hang on, isn't that the actual balloon that the little girl had who turned into Daughter of Mars? Do not fear. I shall rescue the balloon and save us all from trouble and strife. One second, I shall shoot down for it. Oh, no, Barn, don't lean too far. Barn, be careful. Barn, Barn, don't go back! Oh. Barney! Uh, are you all right? Oh, it's OK. It's oh. fine. It's not a problem. I managed to get the balloon, at least. So, yeah, all good. Nothing to see here. Fit as a fiddle. all about sensational stunts, so we've got some real-life stuntmen here. This is Crispin and Gordon, actually stuntmen on Doctor Who. Nice to have you along. Oh, oh, oh it's worth pointing out, Gordon is David Tennant's stunt double. How cool is that? He's here with us today. We've also got Tom Palmer, who plays Hutchinson. Nice to have you here. I'm going to catch up with Freema. Hello! Find out what's happening for her on the show. A little bit of an exclusive natter. Speaking of exclusive, more chances for you to get hold of one of these, an exclusive sweatshirt. We'll catch up with the Totally teams, and there's more from our exclusive animation. So because it's action-packed, we have filled the TGR with action fans. Hi, guys. Hi! Yeah, and then, and then I fell over the balcony and I landed We know you didn't do that stunt. It was Gordon Oh, you had to say that. something, didn't you? Spoil the illusion. Honestly, I can't work under these conditions. I'm out of it. Don't really? <laughs> yep. Ow. And again, it's just Gordon. He's messing about... Oh, that wasn't you. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Barney. Move on, we'll forget that. I'll chat to Tom instead. Hi, nice to have you here. Uh, now, listen, tell us about your character, because he was a bit of a rotter. He was, yeah. He was a head boy at the school, but he was a bit of a bully, and uh, he was very nasty to Tim. So, yeah, the little, little sweet Tim. Yeah, yeah good thing. I'm impressed you've actually got that voice in real life. Oh, Unlike yeah. Barney, you weren't oh. putting the posh voice on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, put, I put this accent on. I'm actually quite posh normally. <laughs> so, do you do your own stunts, then? Yeah, uh, like I, I did uh, I did do one, one of my own stunts, where I had to uh, jump into a pool of water. Oh, great fun. Yeah, was fun. this your first acting job, This then? was, yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Fresh out of drama school, <laughs> Doctor Who. You can't tell, though. <laughs> That looks fantastic. <laughs> Would you do the honours now that you are a superstar and everything sure. and put your handprint in there for us so it can go on our wall of fame? You've got the chance to win these at the end of the series, win all of them, that is. Now, so far, you've heard eight questions. There are 12 in total. If you missed any of them, go to the website to find out what you've missed. So, you've got the ninth question for us. Tension music first, though. Build it up. Question nine. In the next episode, how many DVDs does the Doctor use for his messages? You're going to have to watch the next episode of Doctor Who for your answer. Now, when you're filming Doctor Who, how do you find remembering lines? Is that a difficult thing? Uh, it's, it's quite hard, yeah. I messed up a few times, but it was all right in the end. And what about position? Because you, you have to be at a Yeah, you have place, to make sure you? you're in exactly the same place for every scene, so it's quite, it's quite complicated. Do you not want to look probably. down at the floor, though? Yeah, you sometimes you do, <laughs> and then they tell you to do it again. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask is because in today's Team Totally, it's all about finding the right position on but Barney, you camera. Can see me Sorry, anymore, one second. So. It's all about finding the right position, um, just so you... Uh, do you know what? Never mind. Here's Team Totally. Welcome to Team Totally. Competing are Team Time Lord. They are... Cody, who'd like to design Doctor Who monsters. Alia, who wants to be the 11th Doctor. Sarah, who wants to be a Doctor Who set dresser. Up against Team Time Lord are Team Tardis. They are... Chris, who wants to be a Doctor Who assistant director. Molly, who wants to make monster costumes for Doctor Who. And Daniel, who wants to be a darling. For 12 weeks, our teams will have the opportunity to take two points for winning a task and one point for being runners-up. The team with the most points will win a money-can't-buy Doctor Who experience. Who will win? Only time will tell. With the scores at 12 points each, it's all to play for as our teams arrive on location with Doctor Who, where they're going to be set an assistant director challenge. 
An important part of an assistant director's job is telling the people who stand in the back of the scene and are known as supporting artists where to stand and where to move when filming begins. What you say to them has to be quite concise, but also explain in detail what they need to do. And as she's an assistant director on Doctor Who, Anna is the perfect person to be setting and judging the task. Kurt. Hello, teams, and welcome to what we call Being On Location. Today is all about being an assistant director. So you'll be given five supporting artists to place in a scenario, and you'll have two minutes to do it. Our two teams must pretend their supporting artists are at the same dance as the Doctor in the episode Human Nature. Anna demonstrates one way the scene could be set. And I'll be queuing you from behind the camera. The teams are watching closely as they'll be judged on how they use the space available, how they explain the storyline to the supporting artists, and how clearly they give instructions about movement. Okay, and cut. You need to take what I've just done, but turn it round and make it your own ideas, okay? I want to see different setups, I want to see different people moving in different places. So are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, your time starts now. Will a two-minute time limit give our team stage fright? Not for Alia, who quickly takes a leading role. You stand here, and then the women stand there, and they come together and they bow and curtsy to each other. Finally, Cody and Sarah get to speak, but are they making sense? So you and you two will be over here, yeah, and then yeah. you join together. Mm -hmm. Off camera. Off each side. OK. <laughs> OK. So, men? This side? Yeah. Women. This. Can you come and break up, you know, like we're okay, talking? Time's up. Let's step you out to the scene and see what happens. Yeah? Okay. okay. It's, it's quite good so far. It's quite good. Yeah. I'm up. Yeah, I don't know. They should they should space out a bit more. Yeah. They should. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good. Ah. That's good, sure. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that's okay. I'm quite pleased with that. Mm. Yeah. I wanted a bit more like tension, making more and um, exaggerating a bit more about the dancing. Okay, and cut. Team Time Lords seem unsure about their supporting artists' performance. Did they make the best use of them within the space available? Time for Team Tardis to step out of the wings, and it doesn't take long for them to get into trouble. Daniel, Molly and Chris seem to have forgotten that their artists are at the same dance as the Doctor and have instead created their own brand new story. Scott, you can peek round the curtain because you've got a bit of a fancy for Lucy. Then Sam asks Lucy to dance. He goes, is a bit jealous and he slams down a piano and that's the end of the scene. Team TARDIS take to the stage. Will their efforts steal the show? Action. Oh, that was up. <laughs> That's good. Oh, sneaky. Stamp. Yep. That one. That one. That was good. Moody. Goodness gracious me. Kurt. So you happy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Think it went well? Yeah. 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 Well, let's bring the other team back then and I'll give you my final verdict. Team TARDIS seem to have enjoyed their supporting artist's performance, but could the supposedly background action have been too distracting? I am pretty confident that I'm going to win and our team is going to come through. And will Team Time Lord regret not using their five supporting artists better? I think we could have been improved by making it look a bit more like a crowd, making it look like there was more people than there was. Stay tuned to find out later in the programme who'll be taking the curtain call as task winners. Oh, you're going to have to wait to see who wins that assistant director challenge. It's close, isn't it? You are going to have to wait because we have a very special guest here in the studio. This is Gordon, who is David Tennant's actual stunt double. Gordon, welcome to the show. And your oh. stunt double as well, which is why they've yeah. got the same top on. That, that was Gordon that fell at the start of the show, it wasn't really. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about David Tennant, shall we? What sort of stuff have you done for him in the show? Uh, early episode, I doubled David climbing up the radio master Alexander Palace. Oh, yeah. But he does a lot himself, doesn't he? He does an awful lot himself. He's very energetic, very enthusiastic. He's very able-bodied as well, to be honest. He's really Good. Now, this guy over here is Crispin. He's Hello. Doctor Who's stunt coordinator. How are you doing, fellas? All right. Good, good, thank you. What are we seeing here? What's going on? We're just teaching these guys how to do um, some forward rolls and okay. some falling backwards um, onto the mat, like just tucking their chins 
against their chests uh, and then holding their arms in front of them and going stiff as a board. And we're using all that um, in any uh, TV situation, you know, where explosions well done, and Josh. fights and all that sort of stuff where you're falling onto the mat. So if I'm throwing Gordon, we'll go on three, two, one action, okay? Yeah. You ready? And three, two, one action. Wow! Oh, throw a Barney, will you? Let me have a go at this. Not Come on. <laughs> So, so, what so it looks like all you've got to do is concentrate on keeping your head tucked into your chest. Yeah. Put your arms out and concentrate on rotating. Okay. And I will look, it'll look like I'm doing all the work. But this is one of those country and western get out of my That's saloon right. throws. Get out of my okay. saloon. You ready? Yep. And three, two, one, action. Not bad, Barn, not bad. Oh. I'm loving this. I'll tell you what, now might be a good time to introduce the animation. What do you think, oh, yeah. first? Hang on. Oh, where she comes. Let me tell you, the okay. Doctor and Martha have escaped from a bug planet, right, but they did manage to get the second data chip off the body of Murgrass. Now they're on the prison planet, which is where Balthazar used to be, but the Doctor's been sucked right into the planet. How is he going to get out of there? I don't know, but I'm guessing we're about to find out. You've got to have a quick lie down. Thank you. Here it is. Find out what happens next time on Vorlag Knock, now that the Doctor and Locke have escaped their cell. What are you doing now? I'm limbering up. Drum roll, please. Four. Just go with it, because it's now that part of the show where I like to say, who goes there? <laughs> Barney, do you think you're taking this stunt stuff a little bit too far? Yeah, I might be just a little bit. Should I uh, just get on with it? Could you? OK. It's the chance for you to get hold of an exclusive Totally sweatshirt as modelled by Tom. <laughs> Nice modelling there, guys. Thank you very much. So, if you'd like to get your hands on one of those Totally Doctor Who sweatshirts, all you've got to do is correctly identify the Doctor Who monster. What is behind this screen? Get in there. Okay, I'll, I'll go and get it. Go on. What's going to be behind there person? today? Or monster, as the case may be. Oh, there's not much clue there. Uh, maybe you could turn towards me, please. Oh. oh. Has it got a vegetable for a nose? No. A gnarly carrot? It's got a wart on it, though. And a bit of a prop yeah, as well. Do you think you know what that is? If you do, you need to get in touch with us. Hey, Kirsten, I'll tell you what, you better go at this point, though, cos you're going to be out of time, oh, aren't I you? I am, I'm late, get cheers. Get sorted, I'll do all these bits. Uh, so, yeah, as Kirsten was just about to say, if you'd like to get in touch and correctly identify what Doctor Who monster that could be, then you can write to us at Totally Doctor Who, PO Box 5158-CF59BD. Or, if you prefer, you can email us, totallydoctorwho at bbc.co.uk. Now, if your name is going across the bottom of the screen right now, you have won yourself one of these. It is a Totally Doctor Who sweatshirt. Well done for getting that question right. Now, though, I think that's given us enough time for Kirsten to get our Totally Exclusive. Kirst, how's it going? Exclusive is the word, because Freema is finished for the day, but just before she leaps in her showbiz cab, I'm going to grab you, girlfriend. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, are you all right? Oh, very well, indeed. Uh, what have you been up to? I was just trying to cram some lines, actually. The more I do now, the less I've got to do when I get home tonight. Learning and learning <laughs> and learning. We're talking all about stunts today, okay, totally. Yeah. What's been your favourite stunt that you can remember? God, um, I guess it would be um, when Lazarus waxed me off of, um, <laughs> make believe waxed me off of the top of the bell tower, and I sort of have to go flying and spinning in the air. Um, and I almost wish it started off being a really deep hold, but then yeah. they brought the crash mats really high up, and I kind of wish it had stayed down because it would have been a bit more dangerous. <laughs> and did you do that then? Yeah, but it weren't, it weren't far lady. to fall. But I did it myself, yeah. Do you usually do your stunts? Is that a regular thing? Well, they say I'm quite good, Kirsten. Really? I'm kind of trying to notch up my little um, brownie, po uh, brownie points to becoming a stunt woman, I think, one day. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what about <laughs> art, though? We, we're just establishing you can do your own stunts, but this is the art you've done for us before. Can you uh, do any more drawing for us? We think this might have been the macro. We're trying to uh, get <laughs> ideas of plots, future plots on Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you did this. Masterpiece for us <laughs> there, which may have been a Dalek, we're not sure. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to yeah. follow you again. Okay. Can you do some more artwork, give something away? Something totally exclusive oh for us. Oh my goodness, I'll get Come in on. trouble. Right, okay. Well, I reckon we'll have some of that. It's, um, it's a hedgehog, perhaps. Is it? Uh, it's. <laughs> it's, a, it's a growly mouth with. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Barney on a morning <laughs> at this point, doesn't it? Wow. OK, uh, I'll get to that safe. Now, I want to ask you... Yeah. Come on, the Doctor and you. How was it last time we saw him kissing Joan, Nurse Joan? <gasps> I know. How was shocking. that for Martha? 
I think that Martha felt a couple of pangs there. Um, she's growing a lot, though, in, at, the, at this time, I think. So she's learning, um, perhaps, that it's one-way traffic, I think, maybe. So, she's um, used the L word, though, hasn't she? She, she, she did. She's maybe she should have kept her them. cards closer to her chest. Do you think it's going to happen, though? Please, can you look down the barrel and say it is or it isn't? Are you going to kiss the doctor? Stay tuned. Oh, Vaughn, <laughs> she's not giving anything away again. Yeah, but I love how the conversation drifted from stunts to kissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Do you reckon they're no, going to kiss? I just couldn't say. You wouldn't, would you? No. How about talking about working with David and Freeman? Uh, cool? Yeah, they were, they were really, really nice and really helpful. Um, and sort of, they knew it was my first job and they were kind of coaching me around the place and stuff. It was really nice, yeah. What's it like when you get on set with someone like David Tennant? I mean, I personally, I stood next to him for the first time only a while ago, you know, to have a bit of a chat yeah. about how things were going. And he, he sort of has his presence about him. You exactly. Know? He, he turns a real into an kind actor, of presence. And he, yeah, he does. He just turns like that. And then he's sort of asking about the cameras. But then when, as soon as they say action, he's just amazing. And so do you pick Straight up tips on set from him? And... Yeah, I mean, not I mean not direct tips, but just from watching him, just learning how he kind of gets on with it. He's very professional and stuff. Right, I, I need your help. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, anyone, any idea? What is that? Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that, guys. Wow, because we had Russell came in and he drew that scarecrow that appeared yeah. in your episode. Exactly. Which yeah. I found quite scary, though. But even on set, they used to sort of come up and tap you on the shoulder and then you'd turn around and see this big head Ooh. coming down to you. There's something about a face that doesn't move or doesn't have any sort of expression yeah. that's quite yeah, scary. Exactly. It's like the clockwork droids, it's just yeah. that... That's there. Yeah. I don't like that so much. What do you mean? Oh, yes, moving on. Can you help us out with that fabulous posh accent? The posh accent. Can we give that a go? It's all, I don't know, I suppose you've got to have a bit of posture first. A posture. Okay, posture, yeah. everyone. <clears throat> and then uh, keep your chin up. That's it, marvellous. Sip up a lip. Sip Very little lip. movement around the lip, and then it just sort of all comes out like that, sir. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's important that you clean. say so. A very it? clean cut, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. clean cut, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I've got a sausage cut. stuck in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> Can you guys give me a go and say, oh, hello? Oh, hello. Yeah, very good, isn't it? Now go, hello, darling. Hello, <laughs> darling. Emma, in your best posh voice, you got a question, haven't you? Um, would it be like to be an alien or monster in the series? It would be quite nice to be an alien and then they'd have one of those alien guns and being the spaceship and stuff. But uh, I was I was happy being a goodie and, and fighting them off. So it, even though you it. started off as a baddie. Yeah, I was a baddie. Bad. It was a very complex character. It's actually, nice, yeah. nice story, though, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it? Joshua? Um, who's the funniest on the set and do you have a laugh while filming? Um, well, everyone's really funny and uh, everyone gets on really well. It's a really relaxed atmosphere. Um, but I, uh, I yeah, spent a lot of time with uh, Thomas Sangster, who plays Tim. Um, and we were obviously sort of shooting the gun together and, and uh, having a lot of fun. So, and this is yeah. before you lead him off for a beating? Yes, which exactly. Which you see in the episode. But only, only in the, uh, on TV, not, oh, not in real life. Of course. No. <laughs> Did you boss him around at lunch then, to, you know, to get into your role? Uh, no, I didn't, because he's, he's a lot more famous than me, so I <laughs> kept my distance. Shall we get back to Team Totally, find out what they're up to? Yeah. They've got their assistant director challenge. <laughs> As part of an assistant director challenge, Team TARDIS and Team Time Lord had two minutes to put five supporting artists into a scene like the dance in the episode Human Nature. Do our teams think Anna the Judge will be giving them a standing ovation for their efforts? I think that Anna will say we work cooperatively, we got people well organised and everything went quite smoothly because we worked together as a team. I did think it, was, it looked a bit cheesy and if I could start it again, I would give them better directions. Well, welcome back, teams. So now I'm going to let you know how I thought you did. This team, I thought you worked really well together as a team. You were confident when you spoke to the extras. With regards to the use of space, it would have been a little bit better if you'd spread them out a bit more because they were in a line together, so it kind of hid each other. So this team here, um, very, very confident and gelled really well as a team. And my criticism would only be really that perhaps you give them too much emphasis on the story that you gave them. So imagine if in a scene we had some actors in front of them, I think we'd be a little bit distracted by what was going on behind. That's not what you want out of extras in the background, this was a blend in. So after a long think, I have decided that the winner of the two points is going to be... Yeah! We thought we were going to win, and, but obviously they pulled through Bella. It's a great feeling to know that you've won the challenge. 
With only two tasks left before the big studio final, Team Time Lord have taken an important step into the lead. Will Team TARDIS stop them extending it? Tune in next time to find out. Oh, well done, Team Time Lord. There are only three challenges left, so it's too tough to call. Now, because today's show is a stunt-themed show, it gives me great pleasure to show you this. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Thank nice. you very much, Gordon. Well done, Guys, don't you get any ideas and don't you try yes. that at all. Yes, don't try either. this until you get home, is that right? No, no, no. <laughs> the person that organised that stunt for us is Crispin oh, here. Yes. We've seen you teaching us to do low falls, but yeah. what do you have to consider if you're falling from a height like that? The higher falls, what we do, we use cardboard boxes, just like these, ordinary cardboard boxes, and we put mats on top of them. And then the higher you are, the more cardboard <laughs> boxes you put up. And just like Gordon did then, what he does is he always spots where he's going to fall, and at the last minute he'll tuck and he'll land as flat as he can, and then that slows him right down, and then keeping his head against his chin. OK. OK, so we've seen the lows, we've seen the highs. Yeah. What else you got for us? Well, something else we do a lot on in Doctor Who is this. Go for it, Gordon. Whoa! <laughs> oh, what? <gasps> now, of amazing. course, we have to set up here this is a stunt show. Please don't try yeah. that at home. That wasn't real glass, was it, Chris? No. It's special glass called sugar glass, which we use. Um, in films and television. I'm just brushing off all the tiny fragments to make sure it doesn't get in any of his eyes. Are you all right, Gordon? Yeah, okay. Give a round of applause for Gordon, everybody. What a fantastic stunt. Oh, Brilliant. What kind well of done. training do you need, then, to be a stunt person? It takes quite a few years to train to be a stunt person um, in various different skills, different qualifications in sports. And where would we see this, then, in Doctor Who being used? We use that a lot. Uh, whenever we use any glass, um, mirrors, um, bottles, anything that gets smashed in glass, we always use sugar glass. And we can prove how soft that is, by the way. It's not actual glass. It looks like it, but if you just break it, it breaks oh. really easily, doesn't it? How about you try oh. and do some hands-on oh, like to. Stunt yeah. Can work. I give it a yeah. go? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's get some bubbles. Now this is the bit I was kind Let's of waiting for. Uh, put the hat on as well. Please. Now that Thanks. same pane of sugar just glass. kneel down. Not real glass that you just saw there. Kirsten's going to get one over their head now. Yeah. How are you feeling, Kirst? Uh, mm, wondering why I volunteered at this point. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, okay. it's going to be heavy. <laughs> Shouldn't feel it that great position. Already. Already. Should we get you a countdown? Yeah. Oh, no. A countdown from three. Everyone, can you help me out? You ready? In three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one, go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? That, it wasn't too heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, round of applause. Right. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Good sport, Kirst. Yeah. Um, oh, now, sugar nice. glass takes on many yep. forms in the movies and the TV industry, doesn't it? There's the old classic, the milk bottle over the head. Have you got one of those? I've got to try this. So, again, this is the, the same substance. It's called sugar glass, not real glass. Can yep. I use your head for this? Of course you can. Okay. Yep. okay, so, literally, you hold it like that at the bottom. It is quite delicate. You take aim, you bring back, and let go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Whoa! Oh, the sirens are going, the sirens are going. Uh, that, that means something very important. Not only are we seeing behind the scenes here and how stunts get created, we're also going to get a sneak preview of the next episode of Doctor Who. John, that is just serious. A word. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell you that prior to marriage, she was called Kathy Nightingale. Oh, I'm not sure about those weeping angels. They're a bit scary, aren't they? Yeah. Watch out for that next episode of Doctor Who. Looks great. Tom, thank you very much for coming in. I'll take it for that. And thanks <laughs> to Freema as well and to our stuntmen, uh, Gordon and Christian. Now, that is the end of Totally, but because we've got stuntmen in today, we should finish the show with a stunt. Oh, and we do yeah. it very cleverly by saying, that's it for Totally, so push off! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Say goodbye, everyone. That's it. We're going. Bye. See you later. Bye.